Okay, so now before we have hands on and you start learning how to code in SQL, I really have to mention this. When you start learning any new programming language, it's really not enough to learn how to code it. But also you need to learn many other stuff. For example, how to solve a task with a few lines without making stuff complicated. Or how to write a code that delivers good performance. And finally, and the most important, how to write code that looks good, that is easy for you to read and for others. So if you are working on projects, you will notice that developers has always different opinions about how to style a code, but all of them will agree that the code should be readable and following some styling guide. Okay, so you might ask me now, Bara, do I really need to style my code? Is it not enough that my code is working correctly? Well, no, there is two reasons for that. If you are working on team or project, sometimes your code should be reviewed from others. And if your code is hard to read, you will give them hard time reading your code and even end up that they are gonna rewrite your code in order to read it. Another reason is that if you find out there is some errors or some problems in your code, you will have hard time searching for the error to find out in which line you have the problem. So especially if you are a beginner in SQL or in any programming language, at the start you will not pay attention for the styling guide, you will just make sure that you learn the codes and the statements. So my advice here, don't develop any bad habits at the start because later it's gonna be really hard to break them. All right guys and girls, I want to share with you now my three golden rules that I always follow when I start writing SQL codes. Let's check this example over here. It's very simple statement, query, select statement, where at the start, to be honest, I had really hard time understanding what is going on. So let's try to make it beauty following the three rules. Rule number one, always add new lines for keywords and as well for each column. So let's start doing that. We have here the select statement. So let's add a new line for each column. I'm gonna do that. So all of those stuffs are new columns or new lines for each column. And as well from, we have it here as a new line. So that's okay. Join, we could add a new line for it. On as well. So just add the new lines for each keyword as well here for the end. So as you can see, it's already looks better. I added the new lines for each keyword and for each column. Rule number two, let's make all those keywords as uppercase. So let's do that. Select is lowercase. Let's make it uppercase. The same goes for from. Join, let's make everything as uppercase. Why we do that? It's because it's easier to read what is keyword and what is other stuff like identifiers, operators, and so on. So it's much easier to read. So rule number three is that we're going to go and add some white spaces around. So let's check that. And in the where statements, we could like split this condition with white spaces. It's just easier to read if you add white spaces. As well here on the condition of the join, we could add white spaces. So as you can see, we can read it better as everything like stuck together. So now as well for the columns, I always add a tab for it. So now that's it. Now I have applied my three rules and you could see it's really much easier to read. We can see here, okay, select from, join where, and so on. I could read it really easier compared to the first one. All right, so now let's look at both of the scripts side by side. Can you see the differences? Which one is more readable? It's straightforward that the script with the style has a proper format that helps you and others to read it easily and as well to find errors and problems if you have any. All right, guys. So with that, we have now my SQL server, database and data up and running on our PC. So everything is ready to start practicing SQL. And now in the next chapter, you will finally begin to use SQL syntax to query the database and tables using the very famous select statement. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.